Talking about kung fu, many of us fantasize about miraculous techniques, but in fact, most of them are imaginations in kung fu fictions and could never be grasped by common people. So, in real world, how can we practice kung fu, and how can we master it? Yi Quan, as a combination of various kung fu schools. Could tell us some secrets. In ancient times, practicing kung fu was often likened as hanging pictures on the wall, mopping the lawn, joking, or kissing. Actually, kung fu is an art of attack or defense called ji ji. For kung fu masters, it's simple and artistic. But for common people, practicing kung fu means injuries, endurance, willpower, and conquer. There are many kung fu masters in the modern times, such as Mr. Che Yijai, Wang Xiangjai, Yao Zhongxun. And Han Xingqiao, all of them reached the peak of Ji Ji, and integrated themselves into Kung Fu. The Kung Fu Bible Quan Yan once mentioned, "The top level of Kung Fu is unconscious techniques, but extremely powerful." The creator of Yi Quan, Mr. Wang Xiangjai, had the precise description of the top level of Yi Quan as techniques everywhere, hidden in every movement, and ready for every minute. Usually, it is treated as the top requirement of kung fu practice. As an extremely powerful school of kung fu. How can we practice Yi Quan? Is there any guide for it? Actually, Yi Quan could be grasped in seven stages, called the Seven Miracle Approaches. They are standing, sharing energy, stepping, pushing strength. Vocalizing, pushing hands, and fighting. Now let me introduce them one by one. Standing is the basic skill of Yi Quan. Due to the different needs of different people, there are two types of Yi Quan: the exercising standing and the training standing. Master Lin Zhao Lun tells us. Standing exists not only in Yi Quan, but also in many other kung fu schools, such as Xing Yi, Tai Ji, or Shaolin. It is the basic practice in every kung fu school. The learners should practice the muscles of the waist and the legs, and more importantly, the ability to form up your force flow. But different from others. The Yi Quan learners should practice two more abilities in this stage: to control your body and to concentrate your mind. For exercising standing, the learners should breathe peacefully, relax the body, and develop every part of the body equally. But for training standing, the learners should also practice the ability to communicate with the outside world. Establish a force between human and nature. Find out the movements in stillness and the power in weakness. When you grasp the skills of standing, you may use it to try the next stage: sharing energy. In the state of sharing energy. You cannot overtake your strength, but move little by little, and search the speed in your movements.
Vocalizing is part of sharing energy. You can make us some voice at the beginning, and become completely silent in the end. In fact, it's not just your voice, but the flow of your inner chi. For the next stage, stepping. You should be fully concentrate and conquer every movement with your mind. Try your best to balance your body and get ready to pull strength. The strength is the motivation of every effective attack in kung fu. In this stage, it's vital to concentrate the strength on your hands and attack suddenly. Putting hands and fighting are the implements in the real world. You can attack as you like: beating, kicking, grasping, knocking. But most importantly, you must never be afraid of opponents and perform your skills. Now we have known the seven miracle approaches of Yi Quan, but if you want to master it. There is another crucial point. Mr. Lin tells us, in each one practice, you must grasp the degree of tension. As in Taoism, the Yin Yang system is a system of tension. It means the tension in both your muscles and your mind. So, in each one practice, you must learn to control and concentrate your mind, and gradually. You may change your mind into subconsciousness. Thus, when facing the offenses, danger, or illness, you can modulate your body freely. It is said in 1940s, a Japanese judo athlete. Who won the eleventh Olympic? Once had a match with Master Wang Xiangzai. Everyone assumed that it was a close match, but Mr. Wang defeated his opponent just in one single round. Mr. Wang shocked the world and became well known overnight. Rome was not built in one day. Usually. It takes people years or decades to become a master of kung fu, and for each one, a combination of different schools, it requires longer and harder practice. Due to its non-stop development, it's still prosperous today. Master Lin Zhaolun said, "In fact." Every generation of Yi Quan successors think that the true essence of Yi Quan is not its development, but its spirit. It focuses on the mental level of human, which means defeating opponents not with skills, but with morals. Practicing kung fu not for yourself, but for the whole nation. It is also the motto of Chinese kung fu. Based on its prosperous past and chasing for its brighter future, Yi Quan, a precise, elegant, and effective Chinese kung fu, belongs to the whole world as well.